Hi there, just a quick video. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people recently, I've done a video in the past about how I connect my hook links um, to my swivels on my rigs. There you go. So I thought I'd do a quick demonstration. Um, basically, take the end of your hook link, form a loop, do it against the white t-shirt. There's the loop, nice big loop. Then do a figure of eight or a, a double granny knot. So there's your loop. Twice through. And that gives you a nice loop. Then at the other end of the loop, just do a single granny knot. That's for helping you undo your rig when it is on your swivel. Depending on what size hook link you use can make it easier. If it's quite a fat one, it can be quite awkward to get through. Um, but it will go through. So then you are left with a big loop and with a little granny knot on the end of it. Move on to the rig that tied earlier. There's your loop and there's your little granny. So I use a size 8 power swivel. They are rated at about I think about 180 pounds. More than adequate for anything that swims in our waters. Um, then pass your hook link through Honestly, I don't need glasses. Pull it through. Open your loop. There's your loop. Nice big loop. There's a mini block rig that passes through your loop. Pulls down. And there's it's connected. Now, as you can see, there's that little granny knot to take it off. You just pull that and that knot all comes loose. You can pass it back through. Um, pick that up in Thailand. Um, that's how the guides do it out there for quickly getting rigs on and off without quick change swivels. Now, there's a couple of things here. This big loop serves a couple of things. It protects the fish. There's been quite a bit of talk of recent about damage to cats from braid and one thing and another um, and the use of tubing loads of different rules on different lakes you go to they've all got different rules so every lake you go to you have to read up um, everyone's trying to protect their fish um, some do it different ways so this particular thick bit here. I, I believe and I've seen a lot of damage to fishes pecs. Now for me that's because hook links are long. So when the cat's hooked it's the hook link that generally if it's long comes in contact with the pecs of the fish um, which are very sharp some of the pecs um, they can cut your hook link but your hook link can also cause them damage. Um, I've seen some people with really long hook links. Um, so the tubing is basically doing nothing. So me personally, I won't go much longer with a hook link than that. And this double bit here, which is the loop, makes that bit even thicker, so it's even less chance of it cutting on a peck or the fish's body. So that sort of that loop serves as two purposes. So getting along to the swivel, I then put a towel rubber down the leader. I will use leaders if allowed. Um, I believe they are safer for the fish and yeah, well just safer for the fish. With rig tubing, if a fish drops down the other side of a bar or something, your rig tubing will slide up. 
exposing your line to being cut off or to damaging the fish. So if rules are allowed, I will use a heavy leader, um, which will protect the fish because um, it's nice and thick, so it's not going to cut into the fish. Um, then I have a, generally a five ounce inline lead, which has had the insert taken out. So then that will pull down onto the towel rubber and onto the swivel. And that will lock in place. It takes a bit of trial and error. Just sometimes you have to um, widen the bore in the lead um, with using a leader. It's not too hard. Just stick a pair of scissors in there, open it up a bit, and you'll just get it so it just click in. So basically, fish comes along, picks your bait up. There it is. It fills the, the weight of the lead, pulls it. it pulls the hook in and then it runs free. So you've turned into a free running rig and if for some reason um, it gets snapped off or something bad goes wrong, the leader pulls through, pulls through, pulls through, pulls through, pulls through and it's out and your lead's off. Really safe rig in my eyes anyway. Um, obviously the fish would be left towing a leader or your main line but it's got rid of the lead that's the all important bit um, hope that helps